Hello, welcome back. This is an update for version 0.31. There are three new things that are part of this new update. First thing is target numbering. So for instance, if you drop a target called T1 over here, as you can see, it automatically calculates T1. If you drop another one next to it, you will know that it's T2. And if you drop another one next to it, it's T3. It actually calculates from left to right. So if you move this target over to the middle, for instance, this would change to T2. You can do the same thing with steel as well. So steel pepper poppers will be PP1. If I create another one here, this would be one, then this would be two. And same thing for like plate racks, for instance, you call it RK1 for rack or whatever that term is, right? So this is automatically calculated, so you don't have to do this and it would help with your written stage briefings. So if you want to say engage T1 to T3 with two rounds each, you can easily do that. The second feature is metric walls. So there are a bunch of IPSEC designers who have asked me to create consistent metric walls. Some of the users have asked for walls that are one meter wide and two meter high, and then in various combinations. So I built a bunch of barriers here. So as you can see, wall metric one by two. We also have the one by two with ports. You can have the two by two, and then the two by two with ports. And we also have the 3x2s, which are the wide ones. And the cool thing about 3x2s is there's enough space to create different types of ports. So you can have a single port or maybe a double port like that. So now you can actually have an exact measurement. For those of you who prefer to create stages with proper metric measurements, this is useful for you. 1 meter by 2 meter. 2 meters by 2 meters. What's really cool too, if you notice that now walls can be colorable or you can customize the color for it. So you can see that the helpful guide here says K to cycle color. So you can specify, you can choose whatever color you want from a selection of maybe about 16 different colors. Let me know if you want more colors. I can, I can definitely include them in here. So you just highlight and just go hit K. And this will be saved together with your stage file as well. Looks pretty cool, huh? And what's really interesting too is you can even customize plates and poppers. So for instance, if I drop a bunch of plates here, maybe plate rack here, and a straight rack, uh, Texas Star for instance, and an Irish rack, and maybe a uh, Polish rack. Uh, and you can also just highlight and select the different colors if you want. Uh, this is so I think a pretty cool feature. And you can also use plates, for instance, round plates or um, round plates with stands or even square plates. You can just hit K to change the colors. And for those of you who don't know already, I implemented this in version uh, 0 0.30, which is basically advertising banner. So you have different types of advertising banners, horizontal, vertical, horizontal slim. So for instance, if I want a vertical banner like this, I can just click on it and then all you have to do is just highlight it and press L to load an image. And then you pick an image from a file like that. So you can load up a funny picture like this as you add. So for instance, you can put sponsor banners, maybe or you know, whatever you like, and you can just put them on all the different walls. And they're very, very different types of sizes. So you can see horizontal, vertical, horizontal slim, and a square. So yeah, that's it. So this is the new version 0.31 update. So again, let me know when you get any feedback. Uh, this Most of the development and the features that I chose to implement is based on your feedback. So if you can spend some time to try and play around with it, if you have an idea for a prop or anything that you want to see, send me an email or you can go up to the Steam discussion forum and post a message there. So hope you enjoy. Bye.